Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm the of the street, and today I've got an iMac G3 that has my family's stuff on it, just their account names and whatnot. They don't actually have any files on it. And I just kind of want to set it back to default settings. Uh, I might want to sell it in the future or use it for something else. So I'm going to go ahead and reinstall OS X Tiger on it. I did try to install Mac OS 9, and I also tried to install OS 10.3 Panther. Neither of those install disks would boot. Um, so I don't know if the CDs that I had were bad or whatever, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and reinstall Tiger because I don't have a good video of doing that on this channel. I think I've done it before, but like never with a tripod and everything. So yeah, just installing OS and Tiger. Here you go. My dog Rascal, he will be assisting us today and this as you can see, is the best setup in the history of the world. We've got the iMac G3, not the one that I'm using for my my music stuff, because as you can see, that's still over there. This is the other one, so that's plugged in far enough to get power to this thing, I hope. And here we've got the keyboard and mouse borrowed from my Mac Pro, because the only other keyboard that's not in use that was USB that I had, I gave to Michael Cheneau when I sold him that um, Power Mac G3. So, as you can see, here is the iMac, and, oh, by the way, there is one last thing. This Ethernet cord, which is running kind of just through the air to my router right there. I don't know if you can see the router or not. I'm trying to pick up this, the Mac OS 9 disk. There's the router somewhere over there. Alrighty. So, Mac OS 9 would not install... Mac OS X Panther would not install, so we are going to install Mac OS 10.4 Tiger, which was already on this computer, but we're reinstalling it because I need a video to do, and I just need to wipe it out and put a fresh installation of something on it. So let's go ahead. I like to repartition my drives whenever I do this kind of thing. So disk utility. The reason I wanted Panther over Tiger was because it doesn't have dashboard, it doesn't have spotlight. And on PowerPC machines, I've found that it just runs a bit faster overall. Um, but yeah, rejecting my Panther disk. OS 9, it would simply not boot into the disk, or it was not detecting it. But it actually spit out the Panther disk. I don't know what the deal with this thing is, but we are going to erase this drive. And Macintosh HD. Um, ooh, install Mac OS 9 disk driver. Oh, well, that's probably not. Whatever. We will go ahead and erase. I really wanted to install OS 9 on this thing. Alright, so we've got an empty partition there. And continue. It's alright. I, I don't think I've uploaded a video of installing Tiger. I know I've created one before, but I've not uploaded it. Alright, so we will do options and install Mac OS 10. Yeah. Continue. Customize. We do not want additional, or we do not want language translations. X11. Normally I select that. You know, let's just make this a minimal install. Why do we why do we need all this crap? Yeah, we do not need additional fonts. Um printer drivers. Eh. You know, let's just not worry about it. Let's just do essential system software and install that. Alright, we will still need disk two. I know I've got disk 2. Continue installation. I'm going to skip checking the CD. Because I, yeah, like I said, I just need to do something to this thing. So at this point, I'm probably going to speed this video up and just show you the progress bar running through. I'm still going to record because I just love wasting my storage space like that. Okay, change of plans. This is taking long enough to where um, 
I'm just gonna stop recording and let you know when it's done. Okay, this is interesting whenever you're installing OS X Tiger. Even though I deselected install additional language support, uh, it's still installing Asian languages support. And it's almost done. Um, yeah, see, it's not installing any other language support, but no, whether you select to install additional language support or not, it's always going to install Asian language support. So, uh, wonder what's going on there. Alright, so as you can see, it is now going to restart, and then it will prompt me to insert the next installed disk. One of my disks, um, the middle part of it, the plastic part that's clear that doesn't have any information on it, but it got a little, like, jagged somehow, just because it was a really cheap set of CDs that I started with. So, it's interesting, my tray-loaded Power Mac G3 would work with it, but neither of these slot-loading iMac G3s would accept that disk, so I had to burn another disk 2 of 4 specifically for slot loading disk drives. Oh, you know how on the, the Apple laptops, the Apple always lights up? It would be awesome if the, the Apple on the top of this thing lit up. I know it would just waste power and have no purpose, but you know. So I've got a mouse, I can move the mouse around. It's just uh, loading things. All right, here we go. And it should eject that any time now and prompt me to insert disk two. And then it should go for another 12 minutes or so, because that it said 12 minutes remaining before it restarted. See, Mac OS 9 would have gone a whole lot faster than this thing ever will. All right. Insert the... All right. So it says insert install disk 2, and it ejected install disk 1. Inserting install disk 2 now. And it will verify that's what it wants. Spinning up. And now it's installing. So I think it's just more base system stuff that it's got to get from this. Yep. Installing BSD subsystem. I thought that was interesting that Mac OS was. It, it, everyone knows it's based off of Unix, but it was actually based off of BSD. All right, about a minute remaining. That means we got like five more minutes to go. It's neat that it tells you what it's doing. When you install Windows, it's just installing Windows, copying files, expanding files. This is actually telling you exactly what it's doing uh, the, the whole way through the process, which is neat. Not sure if it still does that in like Mavericks. I know it did that in, uh, I think, Lion. Yeah, I really wish I would have gotten OS 9 to install. Notice that the iMac here is written in a serif font. It's got, like, the things sticking off the letters, um, the calligraphy, whatever. And Tiger was actually, like, the first version, if you look at the X logo for Mac OS 10, the first version to not have a serif font used just on the X. See this X right here? Look at that. That's sans serif. That's... That's no, nothing hanging off. It's just, bam, like, clean. And I like that, like, in my writing. But from a historical standpoint, it is certainly not one of the older, um, not one of the classic distributions. It's, a, it's retro, but it's not necessarily classic. So as you can see, it just spit out my disk. And now it's going to reboot. And it'll do the intro video. Well, I won't get ahead of myself. Then you'll leave because you already know what's going to happen. I have no idea what's going to happen next, guys. You just got to wait and find out. This is the suspense is killing me. Hopefully, you too. You got a microphone up there. I I the pinstripes are really weird on the front of this thing. Like you know what I'm talking about.
guys, um, every new Mac ever used to play an intro video when you started up for the first time. And there was a brand new intro video with every new version of OS X up until Leopard. Leopard was the last time they had a new intro video. They reused the Leopard video in the upgrade to Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard Max still played the same video when you started them up. Uh, and then Lion, they just stopped having intro videos. But if you've never had a Mac, um, yeah, play an intro video when you started up for the first time, you have certainly, you're missing out. All right, so this is standard Mac setup. Uh, wait, what are we doing? What, what the... Okay. Oh, all this is optional. All right. I was going to say, Macs, or the iMac G3 specifically, were supposed to be easy to connect to the internet. Yeah, you don't need to, you don't need to set any of that stuff up. It'll just do it all automatically. Configuring your computer. I am plugged into the internet right now for some reason, because I really don't need to be, but I, I guess I want to install the, all the updates and stuff. Um, and I'm going to set this up as a generic, just administrator, or not. Oh, no, 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 yeah, we're not going to make an Apple ID. Not going to register, because normally registration fails any... Oh, all right, no, that's fine, we can register. All right, where will you primarily use this computer? Home business. Uh, what... Best describes what you do, other, and yeah, okay. Short name, all right. Well, should I set this up for myself, or should I just, I'll just make it generic. Um, because I might want to sell this eventually, and I'm not using it for anything right now. Name is not available. So you cannot use the name owner, but you can use the name admin. Not sure if administrator would have worked for the short name or not. Connecting to Apple. All right. Chicago. Today's date and time. That is incorrect on so many levels. I'm pretty sure the internal clocks on both of these Macs are shot because every time I restart them, the date and time are always wrong. So we need to bring that up. Welcome to the future, 2014. It is currently 5-1, I think. No, 5-3. Darn it. All right, so 5-3. And the time is 11.07 a.m. So, save and continue. Don't forget to register, all right. And almost right away, well, we have to wait a few seconds because like I said, Tiger's kind of slow on these older Macs because it's got the dashboard to worry about, which I know you can disable. And you can also disable Spotlight, but by default, those things are enabled. And the operating system is optimized to have those things running. Wow, that dock is huge. Look at how big it, the dock starts out as. I always like to turn it down a bit and see if we can turn magnification on. All right, that's just, we got to customize some stuff. As you can see, system preferences. But yeah, as you can see, Finder starts up and this is your brand new Mac. So we've got the brushed metal interface, which I absolutely love the brushed metal interface. I wish they still had that. Um, yeah, I'm going to just... You can kind of do whatever you want with this thing. Follow this. Where's the dock? Magnification. I just like to have it magnify a little bit. All right. So, yeah, that is installing Mac OS 10.4 Tiger on an iMac G3. And, yeah, now it's installed. We got... Everything, as you can see, dashboard is running. We've got Spotlight. Um, yeah, so hope that that was entertaining enough. I'm pretty sure I've never done that on the channel before, although I have recorded it multiple times. 
So yeah, that's about all for this video. That was just needed to wipe this computer and reset it just for whatever I want to use it for next. Um, that's all for now. I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm in the street, and I will see you guys later. See ya.